Okay, so let's see. I figured it out, right? I know the placement of each building in the city and how the fight goes. Okay, I'm going to use these two as an example, right? So Kong and Godzilla roar at each other. He charges at him. He blocks the axe and swings behind him. He's over here. Then he slams Kong into one building over here. Then he slams him into this building over here. Then Kong backs off of him. And then he does the little slam on his neck. Then he pushes him. And then he does the little side punch climbing on top of the building. Then he drop kicks him over here where a building falls on top of him. Kong gets his axe back up. He shoves it down his throat. Then he does the atomic breath on Kong and pushes him all the way over here, which is when you get that angle. Then he pushes him again into the water as Godzilla swings the axe to a building over there. It's that destroyed one that I'm using as an example, which is a pretty big swing, by the way. Like, wow. Then Kong tries to run away from the atomic breath and jumps behind the building all the way over here. So he moves to the left. And then Godzilla comes over here to get a better angle at Kong. And we have Kong climbing the buildings, jumping back and forth. Then he tries to jump, but then Godzilla actually hits him and he laughs over here, which is when you get that one angle. Okay. Kong roars to his right because Godzilla is to his right, which is why he looks to his right. Then he runs over here where he backs up into one building. And then he does the little swing over here. And then he jumps onto this yellow building, but Godzilla knocks it down. And it's destroyed and it falls over, which is why you see a bunch of fire later in that same area. Then, of course, the heave comes out. Kong's over here. But at some point in the battle, during the heave scene, Kong sees this building from all the way over here and has an idea. And at the same time, Godzilla goes behind the World Bank of China Tower over there. So then, Kong rips the roof off, blocks the atomic breath, backs into this building, but the Kong axe is right next to him, so he jumps up, grabs it, slams it onto his face, and then he's pushed back all the way over here. Godzilla's pushed back and falls into a building that collapses on him there. So then Kong gets up onto this building, probably to get a better view, right, and that fell over. Then we see Godzilla wakes up and he and after waking up he comes from here and he crawls over here which is why we see this green building and it also explains why we see the fire and we see this building so he moved over here to the shoreline to walk over here to because you know this is the end of the island so he'd get a better view of the whole thing if he was over here instead of being in the actual area himself so then godzilla crawls the distraction is thrown, he looks up, but Kong slams into him and back into this building. And you know, they have that little struggle where they move a little to the left. He backs up into this building and throws Kong down over here. To which Kong rolls away from the stomp, the little stomp, right? And then Godzilla bites him and he swings him all the way over here to this building. Godzilla then charges, Kong backs away, oops, I just destroyed all that, then Kong tries to kick away Godzilla, and they kind of end up back here where they first started, and then that's when he stomps on his chest, and you can see from this angle these buildings are in view, and that also explains why you see these buildings, because originally I thought they went straight, but it looks like they went to the right and then back left, and then yeah, that's all of the Hong Kong fight. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I can do the Mechagodzilla battle, but at least I figured this one out, so that's awesome. Bye-bye.